dear students now in this problem we will be going to solve a numerical of having a simply spotted beam with overhang on one side and having loaded with uniformly distributed load and a point load so this numerical problem will be solved for the drawing of shear force and bending moment diagram so let us solve it now statement of the problem is we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for a overhanging beam carrying a uniformly distributed load of specific intensity that is 2 kN per meter and over the entire span length and a point load of 2 kN is also applied as uh, you can see in the figure. We have to locate the point of uh, contraflexure also. Now this is the diagram which is uh, already given in the numerical and uh, this is a simply spotted beam with having a overhang and uh, this uh, whole beam is loaded with uniformly distributed load of uh, intensity 2 kN per meter and having a concentrated load of 2 kN at the free end that is C. So this beam is having a total span length of 6 meter and the 4 meter span is loaded as a simply supported beam it is uh, supported by simple supports at A and B and uh, BC portion is overhang. Now how to solve this? First of all as usually we do we have to find out the support reactions that is RA and RB. Considering the beam is under condition of a static equilibrium and we can apply the equation of a static equilibrium as we have done in the previous numerical also. So the static equilibrium conditions are summation of Fy is equal to 0 and the summation of all the moments either at support A or at support B. Now let us first of all calculate summation of all the forces along Y direction is equal to 0 and uh, here again we are taking the same sign conventions that mean upward forces will be taken as positive and downward forces will be taken as negative. Now in this diagram RA and RB are two forces which are acting upward so we will be taking them positive and uh, uniformly distributed load as well as concentrated load they are acting downward so their value will be taken as negative. So when summing up all the forces so we can take RA plus RB and uh, UDL is uh, on span length that is 6 meter. So total intensity of the load due to UDL that is 2 into 6, 12 kN and uh, concentrated load is 2 kN. So ultimately uh, from this we can get the equation RA plus RB is equal to 14 kN. After that uh, uh, again we have to first of all solve by taking summation of all the moments that means summation of all the forces movement of all the forces about support A or either you can take about the support B that is also a simple support. So uh, based on these calculation now first of all we have uh, taken into consideration the total UDL. So total load due to UDL is 2 into 6 meter that is 12 and uh, it will be acting at the mid of the span that is we have taken 6 meter length on which the load is there so half of 6 meter will be 3 meter so we have multiplied by 3 now here uh, sign convention will be whenever we are taking clockwise movement that is taken as positive and if there is anti-clockwise movement then it will be taken as negative now this UDL will be applying a clockwise movement about uh, support A uh, about support A and uh, you can say this will be giving a direction like this so and uh, then the second load under consideration is RB it is acting vertically upward direction so it will be giving anti-clockwise movement so we have taken RB into distance from A that is 4 so RB into 4 similarly the last uh, concentrated load movement of this load is again it will be applying clockwise movement so it will be taken as positive and uh, the distance between C and A it is 6 meters so 2 into 6 will be taken and uh, on solving this uh, equation we are getting reaction RB is equal to 12 kN and uh, solving A and B both 
we can get reaction at A is equal to 2 kN and the reaction at B is equal to 12 kN. Now here we have to draw the shear force diagram. So first of all we have to solve an equation. We have to create equation for shear force as we have done in similar to it is in the previous numerical. So taking section at appropriate location. So you are well aware that here only change in pattern of loading is between C and B and B and A. So that means we have to take two sections only by taking sections from between C, B and B, A. So we have to create two equations for the shear force. One equation will be applicable between C and B and other equation will be applicable the points or sections between B and A. So let us take a section XX at a distance X from C and between BC. So this is the section which we have taken section XX at a distance X from C that is we are uh, taking into consideration the beam portion between C and B. So whatever the equation we are going to develop now that equation will be applicable between C and B. So shear force we can very easily calculate that is sum of all the forces and uh, taking the appropriate sign convention. So we are getting 2 kN was concentrated load. So when we uh, sum up all the loads from C to B, then we are getting plus 2 here. And uh, because we are calculating shear force at a section xx, which is at a distance x from C, so only the portion of the load that is UDL, which is between uh, the section xx and C, that will be only need to be considered. So intensity of the load is 2 and uh, distance on which load is applicable that is x so we are getting 2 plus 2 into x that is the shear force at any section which will be taken between b and c so now again here it the ratio uh, the degree of the equation that is is 1 x raised to power is maximum value of x raised to power is 1 so it will be linear equation so linear equation it will be giving a straight line diagram now by putting x equal to 0 we will be able to get shear force at and c so we are getting 2 kN that means we are putting x is equal to 0 in this equation so we are getting only 2 kN positive and just a right of the b we will be able to get the shear force by taking x is equal to 2 so by putting x equal to 2 in the above equation we are getting plus 6 kN so in this uh, equation we are able to get shear force at C as well as shear force at B and uh, accordingly we can draw now this is the positive shear force so we have taken 2 kN above the reference line and uh, similarly 6 kN at B and uh, it is a linearly varying diagram so which we have already discussed that it is a linear equation so this will be the shear force diagram between B and C now in here we are going to take section between B and A and uh, we are able to draw the equation to create the equation for the shear force that is Fx again it is equal to 2 kN is the vertical load acting and uh, 2 into x x is the distance on which UDL so when we considered UDL so 2 into x and uh, uh, Rb is equal to 12 kN acting vertically upward direction. So we have taken it as minus 12. So this equation is again a linear type of equation. And this equation will be applicable between B and A. So linear equation again straight line diagram. Shear force at just left of B we can calculate by taking x is equal to 2. When you put value x equal to 2, we get x uh, shear force at just left side of B that is minus 6 and uh, when we are taking x equal to 6 that means you will be getting shear force at a and uh, when put in this equation x is equal to 6 then we are getting shear force at just the right of a is equal to plus 2 kilometer so this is the way we can uh, draw the diagram from plus 6 to minus 6 there is a 
clear cut uh, variation in the shear stress because shear force because there is a vertical load is acting so from plus 6 to minus 6 this is the variation and after that we have to draw the shear force for a so that is 2 kilo newton is the shear force at a so this is the shear force diagram for whole beam from a b and c now here you can observe that somewhere shear force is getting zero value now where is shear force zero shear force is zero somewhere here so we have to locate this point and uh, for this to locate this point we can put the equation equal to zero that is we can equate the shear force equal to zero from equation that is we have developed between b and a so we are getting this point d let us consider this is the point d where shear force is zero so after solving this equation that is making this equation equal to zero we are getting x is equal to five so x is equal to five distance from and c so at a distance which we can show like this at a distance x is equal to five meter that is a distance five meter so distance between d and c is five meter so this is the point on the line or this is the section on the beam where shear force is zero it is changing its sign from negative to positive now we have to draw the bending moment diagram and in step 3 we can develop bending moment equation sign convention for bending moment already we have discussed that whenever is a sagging moment bending moment then it will be taken as positive and hogging bending moment we will take it as negative now taking again section xx at a distance x from and the c this is the section which we have taken into consideration which is at a distance x from c now we are going to develop bending moment equation <coughs> so bending moment equation for the bending moment between beam bc and for the portion bc so here we have to calculate that mx is the bending moment at a section x xx which is between b and c and at a distance x from c so this uh, 2 kilo newton load will be going to create a bending moment in that is it will create a sagging type of a, that means due to this load this beam can bend like this so that is a hogging type of moment so hogging then we have taken it as negative and uh, after that this udl that means this much portion of the udl is under consideration and it is again creating hogging type of shape so total load will be 2 into x and it will be acting at a distance x by 2 so we are able to get this equation for a section which is between b and c now when we analyze this equation this equation is a second degree equation so it will be a parabolic diagram so we have to draw the bending moment diagram is a parabolic and uh, to calculate bending moment at c where x is equal to 0 it is 0 kilo newton meter and uh, at just right of b you can put the value x is equal to 2 in this equation and we are getting the bending moment at b is equal to minus 8 kilo newton meter and we can draw the diagram like this since it is a parabolic nature 0 kilo newton meter at c and minus 8 kilo newton meter at b now another section we have to take from uh, between b and a that is the portion under consideration is b a and uh, this will be the equation which we develop minus 2 into x and uh, this is udl udl is on the span length at that is equal to x 2 into x and x by 2 again and the third one is this uh, reaction at support b it is acting vertically upward so it will be giving a sagging type of uh, shape which we can show like this that means due to this it this beam portion will get sag it will show a sagging type of a uh, movement so sagging type of movement we take as a positive so that's why we have taken 12 into distance between these two that is uh, reaction rb and the section will remain x minus 2 and again it is a second degree equation this diagram will be parabolic now you can calculate bending moment at the left of b that is at a distance x is equal to 2 it will come minus 8 kilonewton meter 
and at the support A, where when we put x equal to 6, we are getting 0 kN. Now here one thing is very important. We have to note down the bending moment curve is varying from minus 8 kN at B to 0 kN at A. But since it is a simply supported beam and we know that in between this beam somewhere bending moment will be positive and that will be maximum positive bending moment. So that we have to calculate. Now this is the diagram for the portion BC and after that this will be the shape of the diagram. That means it is varying, bending moment is varying from minus 8 kN meter to 0 kN meter. Now here you can see this uh, curve is crossing the reference line and somewhere some portion there will be positive bending moment and uh, where will be bending moment positive we have to take the shear force where shear force was zero which we have already calculated that is at a distance x is equal to 5 meter this is x is equal to 5 meter so when you put x equal to 5 meter here in this equation you will get the positive bending maximum positive bending moment so maximum positive bending we are getting that is plus 1 kilo newton meter which we can show like this this is plus 1 kilo newton meter is the positive bending moment now another point uh, which is mentioned in the numerical that is point of contraflexure we have to locate the point of contraflexure so point of contraflexure is where bending moment is changing its sign and passing through uh, this line that means this will be the point under consideration where bending moment will be changing the sign so we, that will be the point of contraflexure so that means at this particular point bending moment will be zero so which we can calculate by making this equation of bending moment equal to zero we will get one value of x so this is a quadratic equation when we solve we get x equal to 6 and 4 now 6 is the support A that will not be contraflexure point because here bending moment is 0 and it is not varying. So only this uh, second value that is x equal to 4 is valid for this case. So this is x equal to 4 it is giving you point of a contraflexure. So in next lecture we are going to solve this numerical wait for the next lecture.